Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Asan Buana Osof, and you can call me or my students call me Ustad Asan. I'm head of the Department of Islamic and Arabic at Idrisi International School, Setiyala. We hope and we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opens more doors of knowledge for everyone. I graduated in Islamic law, which is Sharia law, at the University of Al Madina, Saudi Arabia. Then I continued my education in Malaysia at IIUM at same field in comparative laws. Currently, I'm pursuing a PhD in the same field of laws at UNISA University uh, in Trengganu. I play uh, an important leadership role in guiding and managing the academic and the administrative function within the department. Incorporating Islamic and Arabic into school's curriculum can offer several key benefits. And one of those benefits is to know the basics of their religions, to identify their identity as a Muslims. And the second, learning Arabic as the main language of Quran and the Sunnah can help them to understand common words of Quran and also enhance their language skills. Fostering children comprehension of Islamic study and the practices involves a combination of education, role modeling, and creating a supportive environment. The children have a different level of interest in their life. They have to be patient, and encourage their children's curiosity without overwhelming them. Few examples that we have in the school are like little curry competitions, and then we had also as a little hajj, which the children can experience the aspects of the hajj even without being in Mecca, because they can see the Kaaba, they can wear the ihram. <laughs> So with this kind of all these projects and activity, we encourage the parents to help and encourage their children to participate in any event related to Islamic or Arabic programs, whether it's in the school or outside the schools or in their areas or out in the masjid. So it can help the student to foster their knowledge in Islamic and help them be the church.